outside of X's and O's talk, and I always think that's important, especially at that position. And you know, hopefully, trying to show them how to lead other guys on their team, you know, I think is always important. Um, and so, our group, our quarterback room, is easy to do that with. It's a lot of really good guys in there. Some guys that have been in college football for a number of years now. So I kind of like some of the older guys we have, and then some of the younger guys. I think it's a good mix we have from a personality standpoint in that room. There's no question he has an elite skill set. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, each each quarterback's different, but there's no doubt, you know, denying his talent level and I think his competitiveness and his want to is, is, is elite as well, you know. And so you put all those things together and you give a guy some confidence and put him in position to be successful, you know, the sky's the limit for him. There's no, no doubt about it. How are you and your brother Lincoln similar in terms of coaching and how much of maybe an influence has he been He has spent a year, uh, no, spent two years coaching with them together at East Carolina. And so that was early on in my coaching career and just being exposed to how we did things there at ECU and having some success definitely, you know, is, is a part of who I am as a coach now. Um, but, yeah, I would say probably more similarities than differences. Um, you know, with what we do and how you coach, what you believe in, how you practice, how you carry yourself. I mean, just all those things. I, I would say we're probably more similar than not. Here, how will this offense define success moving forward? How what? How will this offense define success moving forward? Um, score more than they do. You know, I mean, what, whatever it takes. I, I, I don't want to be labeled as we're just going to go ultra fast and that's it. Um, I want to dictate tempo, and we want to be explosive, but we also want to be methodical and shove it down people's throats at times. And so I just hope that we're going to be versatile that way and have a mentality where we can do that and take over games, whatever's required. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. Garrett, did you get to know Shane Beamer a little bit when he was on your brother's team? Not really. Yeah. I've, I've kind of just met him or seen him briefly a couple times, but I really haven't been around Shane too much. No. No. Saw him at the uh, high school, South Carolina High School Association several months ago, but yeah, I haven't, haven't really been around him too much. Dabo's been very resistant to the transfer board. Well, I just think you got to apply it to, to what your needs are and what's going to best fit your team. And so Clemson's situation is going to be different than a lot of other colleges, you know, in their situations. Um, our situation here is much different than a team that just got a new head coach and just had 20 players leave. And so, you know, you just got to take some of that stuff with a grain of salt just because we are in such a unique kind of situation and circumstances here. Um, you know, but I think you, you obviously got to adjust and apply it whenever you, you kind of need it. You know, if you need it to help your team, then, you know, hopefully you can utilize it. Yeah, he's going to start out as receiver, um, and then we're certainly going to cross-train him a little bit at DB and just kind of see as fall camp goes, kind of where maybe where he's going to help our team um, the earliest, you know, what's going to be most beneficial for our team. So, yeah, I, think, I love it. I've been around a few guys that have kind of done that before, but I, I'm all about it. Uh, team? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say so. I would say just kind of being in space and being a creator. Um, he's kind of one of those guys, and I think – Watching his tape and the little I've been around him, um, you know, he just strikes me as kind of a fearless type of guy, you know. And so, you know, I, I think that's a, obviously a great combination for a guy you're trying to get the ball to. One more question. Thank you. One more.
That's a good question. Um, I think my belief, to answer your question, I think it's you got to do, you got to present it in a way that you're not going to take away from the player that he is, right? And so, you know, extreme example is Brett Favre. You don't want to take away what, who Brett Favre was because he was Brett Favre. And so I just think you got to be good in meetings and coaching opportunities on the field, um, coaching opportunities from games of just trying to find that fine line or that balance where they can hone it in when they need to and they understand that, but you also don't take away from who they are. You know, I think that's just kind of the fun job that we have as coaches, right? You know, but that's a, to me, that's a good problem to have as a quarterback coach.